In Pro Engineer Wildfire 3.0, the user interface for swept blends has been enhanced so that it is created using an intuitive dashboard. Relevant options are also in the right mouse button menu, providing the flexibility of using the dashboard for a guided approach or using shortcuts in the right mouse button. The swept blend now uses the dashboard, which consolidates all feature types to one interface. If you create a swept blend as a protrusion and want a surface instead, you just change the feature type. We easily select the existing curve as the base trajectory and the predefined sections to create the swept blend. As you create the swept blend, dynamic preview of the geometry is displayed in yellow. This makes it very easy to make adjustments as sections are added and ensures you will get the desired geometry. After selecting all of the sections, we preview the completed swept blend and realize we need more control over the geometry, so we will add another section. To create this new section, we will sketch it. In Pro Engineer Wildfire 3.0, the sketching workflow has been redesigned so that fewer menu picks are needed to set up a sketch. We will now take advantage of another enhancement in this release, the Sketcher Palette. The Sketcher Palette provides a very simple user interface to access frequently used sections from one central location. Reusing existing sections saves time because you will not waste time recreating existing sections and you can quickly move on to the next task. As you have noticed, the new user interface provides a very intuitive workflow for creating swept blends. Now we simply mirror the feature and we have a completely new passenger restraint system. We can now go back to the entire assembly and check this part for interferences. This mimics the workflow in other areas of ProEngineer, making it easy for experienced and novice users alike to use ProEngineer.